It so happened that I was sat in the sun with a book, and just as I was about to nod off, a little voice called out, Excuse me, what is this for? A small ant had crawled across the page of my book and was now sat staring up at me. What? I said. Excuse me, the ant said. What is this for? What is what for? I said. This great black and white expanse I'm standing on now. It tapped the book with a little black leg. Look, I said, you wouldn't understand even if I explained it to you. That might be so, the ant said, but though I am very small, I am also very curious, and I don't want to turn to dust having known nothing at all. So if you would, please, what is this for? He stood up on his two back legs, eagerly awaiting my answer, and his antennae stood to attention, most respectfully. I said, it's like this. You're standing on a page. Pages are made from trees. We put lots of them together and call it a book. What is a book for then? The ant said. Well, it stores thoughts, I said. That way we can transmit them to other people very far away. How? The ant said. Now look, this isn't the time or place, I said, a little too firmly. The ant bowed his tiny head and his antennae wilted. I said softly, look, you see those little black squiggles, excuse me, to you very big black squiggles about you on the page. The ant nodded. Those are words and numbers. They don't look like words and numbers, the ant said. They represent them, I said. Hmm, the ant said, and thought about this a while. I said, do you understand? The ant said, not really, you were right, it's beyond me. But though I'll never be as clever as you animals, I'm at least a little cleverer than I was a moment ago, so thank you for that. You're welcome, I said. Well, good luck on being a thing in the world, the ant said. Good luck to you too, I said. The little ant made off on his way and disappeared into the grass. I read to the end of my page, but could not forget the little ant. Eventually, I looked up from the book, to the trees, to the mountain, to the sky. The moon was climbing up for evening. Birds were migrating in the distance. I called out, excuse me, what is this for? What? came a booming voice above. This great green and blue sphere I'm standing on now. I patted the ground with my foot. What is all this for? Look, the voice said, you wouldn't understand even if I explained it to you. That might be so, I shouted, but though I am very small, I am also very curious, and I don't want to turn to dust having known nothing at all. So if you would, please, what is all this for? And the voice said, it's like this.